What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing really well. We're going to be playing Chapter 12. Let's go. I know it says cleared, but I it couldn't take my wasn't. Eyes off the live broadcast. This is the video. Next to me, Lee and Lars barked orders frantically, desperately trying to verify whether the images were a hoax or not. The demon on screen was unlike anything I'd imagined. No, it was something much more horrific. The devil incarnate. The demon-like creature you see on your screens is apparently Kazuya Mishima, said to be controlling the G Corporation from the shadows. World leaders are currently debating whether to believe. The reports tell him that the creature has been subdued by the Mishima Zaibatsu. I'd long assumed this war was between humans. That my family, my hometown, had been razed to the ground by people. So, like, is everyone the bad guy? I don't, I don't know. We've yet to confirm whether the footage you're seeing is real. If it is, however, we're seeing the Mishima Zaibatsu is on the side of justice. Public opinion is turning against us. We're running out of options. I was thinking it like the two clans are at war and then Jin started the war so I don't know Oh, that little smirk at the end. See if his cheeks be cool. The Mishima Zaibatsu faces intense scrutiny from around the world. With recent events brought to light, anti Mishima sentiments have grown around the world. Toshi, Mohaya Mishima Zaibatsu Tatenaus Kotoa. Uh, now he breaks the table. I wonder what's going to happen next. Game's frozen. Nope. Zaibatsu downing their own satellite weapon and destroying an entire town left no doubt in my mind that this war was not between humans. The atrociousness of the fighting was inconceivable to the average person, and they soon forgot about Kazuya transforming into the devil, instead choosing to believe that the Zaibatsu were the antagonists. The concept of good and evil changed every day. What a world we live in. I was probably the only person on the planet not paying attention to the news. To me, evil was that which had taken everything away from me, and I couldn't rest until I put a stop to it. So I went directly to the Mishima Zaibatsu's headquarters and told them I would expose them for what they are. I knew I was risking my life just to be laughed off, but I couldn't stand by and watch the world descend further into chaos. Still, he, they paid me no attention. Is he the good guy? Bereft of all hope, I wandered around town aimlessly. But then, a man dressed in black approached me silently. That's creepy, bro. He told me that Heihachi had agreed to meet me. A few hours later, I was placed in a car and driven to a completely different 
different direction than the Zaibatsu's headquarters. Oh, yeah. When I arrived at my destination, Heihachi Mishima was there waiting for me. Oh, well, find out. Kisama, Mishima ke no shinjitsu o hodou shitai to yu no de areba. Kono jouhou wa mochi oase te iru no de arou na. At that time, I had no idea why Heihachi had suddenly agreed to meet with me. His eyes latched onto mine, filling me with unshakable fear. I mean, he is pretty strong, dude. I have delved deep into the history of the Mishimas from Jinpachi Mishima to the family's connection to Kazumi Hachijo. The year you declared the establishment of the Mishima Zaibatsu was the same year your wife Kazumi passed away and that your son sustained terrible injuries from falling off a cliff. I threw him off. To me, that sounds like one hell of a coincidence now, doesn't it? It's pretty built, bro, to be fair. Yokaro, Koregara Hanaskoto. At that time, I had no idea why he wanted me to reveal everything on his behalf. But I was getting so close to the truth I had long fought to uncover that I couldn't turn down this once in a lifetime opportunity. Ah, uh, Jonas, the blood in Kazuya and the blood of Kazumi's family, the Hachijos. Remains shrouded in mystery. I listened closely to every word, each step inching closer to the truth. Ayatsu ga washi no chichi, jinpachi no dojo ni ikita no wa, mada toshiha mo ika no shouju no kono jatta. Tomo ni ase mizu nagashi, budo ni ake kureru naka, tsumari, rival. Budo to wa, shin ni tomo ni onore o oikomu kodoku na sekai. カズミは次第に、わしにとって唯一無二の存在となっていった。息子のカズヤも生まれ、わしらは幸せじゃった。特に稽古中、カズミが突然倒れおった。カズミは信じられぬほどの高熱を出しており、急ぎ病床に寝かせたのだが。She tried to kill you? うん。じゃが翌日 貴様は this is actually pretty beautiful. That's scary. Guess what? I think we're fighting.
I gotta be. Her beautiful face. Ain't gonna stop me. The tiger might, but I ain't gotta go down this way. She regenerates health, which is ridiculous. You not gonna let me do the same move? Oh, I press the button. I press right bumper. Finish her. Finish her. Finish her. Finish her. Now don't do the doors part, man. She betrayed you. What? Oh, he didn't even think. I was just joking. Ow. Ah ha ha. I'm sorry for your loss, mate. Oh, I feel bad for saying finish her, to be honest. Ah, the everlasting chain of hatred. Oh, the manipulation. That's ugh. scary. Oh, homie shed a tear. That's good. So I, I get it. So that's how you killed your wife. Motomoto was she who crossed the many Mishima can you curareta wonda. Naraba, Hanakara Korosu. But why did you drop Kazuya off a cliff? He was just an innocent boy. Kazumi yeah, story doesn't really add up that much. I mean, it makes sense though. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I can see why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. 
What does this war mean to you? Well, that was unexpected. When I came to, I was on a wharf with Lars. I had no idea where I was or what he was doing there. Lars said he'd received a message from the Zaibatsu telling him to come here. He bundled me into his car and then took me back to Violet Systems. As we drove back, Heihachi's words ran through my mind over and over. Why did he let me interview him like that? Why did he leave everything to me? And what was that mournful look in his eyes? Question upon question whirled through my mind, but not a single answer. Yeah, ready? Boom, 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 boom. Everything went down only a few hours later. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Lee was fervishly trying to ascertain Heihachi's whereabouts. Eventually, his spy satellite spotted him and transmitted a picture to us. I stood there in shock. The man I'd spoken to was somewhere unbelievable. いいでしょ、に心を選ぶとはな。I'm not gonna just nugging him all the time because it looks like it works. <laughs> This is pretty cool. I feel like I was supposed to miss that. Should have seen that coming. 
Power bomb. Man, <laughs> you can really just grab him, can't you? Uh, kind of like. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Am I supposed to win? Was I supposed to battle that? Oh my kick, mate. I might not have been a good father by taking you off the cliff, all right, and never talking to you again. But hey, I helped you awaken your powers, and I feel like you're not that grateful. Okay? You know, a little bit of gratefulness. I don't think I can block this. I mean, I know I wouldn't survive that. It actually looks so much better than normal. <laughs> Let's go. I don't like that white screen every time. Who thought that was a good idea? Come on, man. You're supposed to be playing this game in the light, in the dark, in the dark, in the light. I don't know. No, no, no. Hey! What? Wait, I got health? How did I get so much health? 
I'm not gonna question it, like... My favorite move. I just wanna end this. I can't do much. Is he angry? I think he's just mad and I can't even touch him. Let's go. It's got some pretty cool cinematics. He's never really dealt with his childhood issues, hey. They're pretty bad, to be honest. Sorry, I'll, I'll just, I'll keep quiet. Ah, oh, dude. Tatakaito, saying when you do it, I'm not telling you. So let's get it. That's a pretty cool ending. Not gonna lie, he's dealt with his issues though. Truth be told. 
lucky to still be alive. No normal person could understand the reality of everything they had seen, the truth of it all. Our world was dragged into a war between humans and devils. I'm just one person, but it is my job as a reporter to get the truth out, which is exactly why I'm writing this piece now. One day, the fighting will end. I just hope that when it does, the world will be at peace. Wow. Okay. やはり G社は戦争を止める気はないようだ。はい。各地で進行を開始しています。このままでは。これが平八なきあとの世界だ。そのため、世界にこの戦乱を引き起こしたのは貴様であるのだろうか。これを収めるのもまた貴様の宿
Um, rarely, if ever, do they forgive them. And I think that's something that I understand is when perspective and trauma and dealings and things that happen to us, it is rare, especially if we go through different mindsets. I can get into this, all right, but like different mindsets as if like, you know, like I said in, in playing and it's like, are oh, you a little ungrateful? You know, I threw you over the edge. Yeah, that's bad parenting on my behalf, but you know, it taught you how to use your powers, right? You had to use your powers and you had to figure it out. You wouldn't have known, right? So, like, <laughs> I'm not just defying throwing over the edge, but that's what I mean. Perspective is everything. If my parents hit me, why did they hit me? Oh, my, it's so, so easy to feel an intention that might be, that's probably not true. Like, oh, my father and my mother hit me and they hate me and they put me down and they just want to hurt me. Like, that's not the case. That might not be the case. Maybe they don't even think they're, in, they're harming you. You know, or in that case, mom and dad hit me because I did something wrong and that's not okay and I need to not do that again, right? Why? Because it hurts them and it hurts me um, physically and mentally, right? So different perspectives, but at the same time, it gives you the ability to move forward in life and, and help out. So um, yeah, uh, rarely do we ever forgive them and forgiving takes a lot of part. So if you're ever st struck, it's like to understand Sometimes they won't say anything. So you just got to sit there and just be like, okay. Actually, I'll tell you a story. So um, like, for example, my dad, uh, he has done a lot of bad and a lot of good in his life, right? And, um, you know, just recently, I think at the end of last year, I went up to him and I said to him, look, I understand that you didn't intend to hurt me. and um, But you did. And I understand that you are who you are and all these things and I'm getting older, but I do forgive you. I forgive you for all that happened and I will not bring the past up. I will not, I have moved, I will move forward and I'm hoping that we can just move forward together. So like that took a lot out of me and a lot of contemplation, but at the same time, it was one of the things of just realizing what's happened and then being able to move forward. So, um, yeah. Rarely do we give our parents the chance that they deserve. I know people who've, who have worked so hard to have a roof over their heads for their children and be treated like absolute dogs. I know people who have um, suffered a lot. And yeah, it's just perspective, mindset, and change. Anyway, thank you for letting me ramble. I am going to keep this in. Peace and love, everyone. God bless.